today I spoke some broken Swahili and among the people that were seated in the taxi there was someone who knew Swahili and started interpreting we had I was with the Machulate but I thank God I thank God the Swahilis came in the second service the ones we preached to Amen we seeing the fruits if you're here and we preached to you in a taxi yesterday we welcome you Amen Amen. Bishop, our bishop isn't with us. But the Spirit of God is here. Amen. Amen. Uh, to, to, to get a fellowship Sunday. We'll be celebrating Fellowship Sunday on 8th. Uh, we have a theme. Uphold him. Tell your neighbor, uphold me. <laughs> Uphold me. <laughs> Uphold him. Keep the peace. Keep the peace. Uphold him. Keep the peace. and keep the peace. Tell your neighbor. Uphold him and keep the peace. Do not quit. Because we do not uphold you and then we quit. We we'll uphold you till you reach your destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I request you to avail yourself on that day. Uphold your lineage as you do a song, a skit, or whatever you decided to do. Amen. Amen. So, so this time, God takes us back and we get to know the benefits of fellowship. Fellowshipping together is so important. It is important in life. That's why God doesn't want you to be alone. Even in creation, he says it's not good for man to be alone. If you're single, it's not good to be alone. God made a, a companion. Praise the Lord. All great men have not done things alone. They have joined a certain fellowship. And they've been able to accomplish great things. There is one man who says, if you want to go fast, go alone. First. But if you want to go far, go together. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you born again. You want to go far. God wants to use you to do great exploits. But you cannot do them alone. You need someone who will uphold you to see that you achieve that in Jesus' name. You need a fellowship. All the mighty men the Bible talks about. If you speak of Abraham, he had a trained army in his family. The Bible says that they attacked four kings and they defeated them. God has been revealing to us certain things. How can a fellowship over, overtake four kings? Fellowship Praise the Lord. Four kings together. Abraham arose and he defeated them and rescued his nephew Lot. 
Moses. Moses needed Joshua and Caleb. If they stood together, they could overcome anything. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mutiambe koko mai kenda la sovolo genda maso. Mukama yeba zwe. Amen. Ah, mukama ya atubi kulira. God reveals to us. Wadu wamusa jomo. There is a man. Bible gwe yogera kwa mita Joe. Job. Whose name is Job. Job boy yo. Job. I never been to Vinje via moto kako. Has a lot that happened to him. Yari musa jamu gaga. He was a rich man. He had everything he wanted. And it all vanished. It all vanished. But this man had a fellowship of three people. Of three people that stood with him. When that situation came, Job hated himself. Fellowship He quit the fellowship. Everyone was condemning him. But there is something that is amazing that I was reading about. Could be a lot has happened to you. People condemned you and you quit. Time came and Job realized that his friends were also condemning him. They told him maybe you sinned. They no longer had the bond they had before. But God told something to Job. He said, I want you to once again be with your friends because that is the power that upheld you. It is the power that pushed you farther. And the Bible says in Job 42 and verses 10, listen to this word. I want us to look at it carefully. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord made him prosperous again and he gave him twice as much as he had before. Listen. Listen. Job had to get a turning point. A time came and he was no longer praying for his friends. Fellowship. He had quit fellowship. A lot had happened. You could say they didn't stand with me when I was in problems. But God tells Job, that irrespective of what has happened I want you to go back to your fellowship and pray for them the Bible said that when God that when Job regained all that he had, praise God. After praying for his friends, after praying for his friends, not praying for himself, the Bible doesn't say that when he prayed for himself, look at your neighbor and say that after he prayed for his friends, You fasted, but fasting for yourself. You said, I'm fasting 40 days, but only concerning you. 
But this time round, Job didn't pray for himself. Tell your neighbor he didn't pray for himself. His breakthrough wasn't through his personal prayers. Amen. Bible to Gambia, where Yamala or Kusavira Mikuano Je, Mukama Nadamu, Namua, or Bugaga Nabulichin, Tucho Nachi Ariaina. But the Bible says that once he prayed for his friends, the Lord made him prosperous again and gave him twice as much as he had before. Kurunonga Che Kubagani Sam. This time round, it was twice as much. In Saba Musizonia, Jetulimu, Betuna, Goloko Kane, Tudamu, Netwes, Netusavi. I pray that in this season, if we rise up and pray for our brothers, God will multiply us in Jesus' name. But whenever you pray for only yourself, you don't mind about others. Fellowship. You quit fellowship. But Job, Adam, once again, the Bible says in Hebrews 10, uh, this habit had started taking over. People no longer wanted fellowship. Hebrews 10, 25. Listen, 20 from 24. Let us consider how we spur one another towards love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing and let us encourage one another and all the more as we see the day approaching. Obutale kanga kukunga nanga kukunga nanga wamu nga ba la weba isa. Na yenga tubu lidida, elanga twe yonge dango kukolebio, bwe tu tio, nga bwe mula boluna kuruli, nga luna telok tuka. Baibe gambe, toma twe togeza no bivam. The Bible says that do not give up. As some are in the habit of doing. I don't know whether you have that habit. All it has come in. But the Bible has told us to not give up meeting together. You must fight always fellowship. Do not accept anything to divert you from fellowship. Love it. Love it. Always spare some time. You always give time to what you love. You give time to what you love. You are going to give it time. Whenever you love something, you always give it time. But you will not give time to something which you don't love. People who love football, even if it is in the midnight, you will get out of the house and go and watch football. Because he loves it. But also spare time. Amen. Amen. When you're courting a girl, you get all the time to see her. Amen. You always spare time for her. You go back home, they beat you, but you always get time. You go back home, they beat you, but you always get time. Sorellas always get time for that in Jesus' name. Amen. There is power. There is power. I want us to get a hold of these words and walk in them in Jesus' name. There is an example I want to give in the Bible. Let's go to Mark. Chapter 2. Mark chapter 2 from verse 1. The Bible has an illustration about 
uh, about being together. The Bible gives us an illustration. Being together. Few days later, when Jesus, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. So, uh -huh. so many gathered that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. Some men came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four of them. So they could not get to him to Jesus because, because of the crowd. Uh, they, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus and after digging through it, they lowered the mat the, par the paralyzed man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic son, your sins are forgiven. Listen. They were four men. In their fellowship and one of them was a paralytic. He couldn't help himself. But they said that we are still able to help you. You must be well. Tell your neighbor, you must be well. Say, I don't know what paralysis you have, but you must be well in Jesus' name. God must work on your issue in Jesus' name. That matter that you have. If you're, if you're held up in a situation, there are people that say that you must be what God meant you to be in Jesus' name. They said no. They found a lot of resistance. But they said we are determined. We are going to I pray that we may be determined in our fellowships because God is going to do mighty things in Jesus' name. What is between that fellowship? In this season, we're going to see great testimonies in Jesus' name. The Bible says that they didn't have anywhere to pass. But they said we can't pass somewhere. Tell your neighbor, even if you see no way out, when we are together, we will find a way in Jesus' name. Could be you cannot do it, but when we are together, we will always find a way in Jesus' name. These men, they dug. Jesus saw something. He saw faith. Tell your neighbor, what do you see? Amen. Amen. Even the one who didn't have faith, when he saw the other one's faith, he also says, now I have faith. So when Jesus saw them together, he saw great faith. In our fellowships, let Jesus see faith in Jesus' name. When Jesus saw their faith, could be they told the paritic we're taking you by force. Maybe he didn't have faith. But they said we must keep the faith. Tell your neighbor I'll uphold you and we will make it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. We will reach there.
And the Bible says that Jesus told him, you're healed. Your sins have been forgiven. And immediately he was made well in Jesus' name. When Job went back to fellowship, he received twice as much as he, got, he had. When this man got a fellowship, he was healed. Amen. Amen. What is it that has failed you? Take it to fellowship and it will be solved in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Amen. These are scriptures. Je Jesus tells us something in Matthew 7, 24. I want you to listen to these words. And to listen to them carefully. I don't want to excite you. But I want you to listen good. Matthew 7, 24. These are words of Jesus. He was preaching. Therefore, if Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. When the rain came down and streams rose, the wind blew, beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it's, it had its foundation on the rock. Listen. Listen. Jesus says that whoever listens to these words and puts them into action, you're all listening now. But he hasn't stopped on listening. But only the one who listens and puts into action. Tell your neighbor the one who listens and puts into action. You know born again are good listeners. You listen to a lot, but working, putting in action. So listen and then act. Go to fellowship. Be in your fellowship. Be in your fellowship. He said that the one who listens and puts into action is likened to a man who builds his house on a road. It doesn't matter what hard situation comes your way. It doesn't matter how much wind comes. It won't hit against you in Jesus' name. But why are we being shaken left and right? We are being shaken. We must ask ourselves these questions. Why do people backslide? Why are people taken by every situation that comes? I These days, every born again is on his own. They're on their own. They have no one they trust. They have no one they share with. They always, uh, they always uh, have every trouble to themselves. They stay alone. Circumstances hit them alone. They say me, I got tired of people. You won't get tired of people. Tell your neighbor, this is your brother, your sister. You don't get tired of your brother. We are brothers and sisters. That's why the Bible says we're brothers and sisters. We are dear brethren. We are brethren. We are brethren. Tell your neighbor, you're my brother, you're my sister. <laughs> Say, you're my brother, you're my sister. Amen. Amen. We are brothers. And sisters. I remember when you had just given our lives to Christ. We used to move in groups. 
even at home. I used to live with around eight people. But they were all brothers in Christ. I remember Apostle Margaret. They were I remember the Apostle Margaret and the friends used to live in a house of many girls. I think that's what kept them and still running because whenever you wanted to get to reach out to one of them, they could immediately intervene. Did you ask the Lord? Did he confirm that he's the one? But these days they just take you, you don't inquire from the Lord, you don't do anything, you don't inquire from friends. Everything <laughs> happens and you're alone. Praise the Lord. You need a fellowship. We tag a fellowship. Tell your neighbor you need a fellowship. Praise God. This is when I realized that we weren't strong, but it's the people around us back then that were strong. Fellowship Your fellowship yes. will make you strong in Jesus' name. Let me give you this scripture. Luke 20. It is amazing. I was reading it. Luke 20 verses 19. Luke 20, Luke chapter 20 verse 19. The Listen. Teacher, the teachers of the law and the chief priests looked for a way to arrest him immediately because they knew he had spoken this parable against them. Praise God. Listen. But they were afraid of the people. These teachers were not afraid of Jesus. No, they weren't. They weren't afraid of Jesus. Jesus has already told them a parable. And told them that a man had a garden. He planted and then he left. He sent his son. He sent many messengers. They were all killed. They said maybe he's talking about us. We must get him. Tell your neighbor the devil isn't afraid of you. He wasn't afraid of Jesus. But the Bible says that they were afraid of the people that, are, that were around Jesus. Satan is afraid of the fellowship around you. Maybe you've not got it. Tell your neighbor that Satan isn't afraid of you. He wants to get you but the people around you he's afraid of them. Satan won't get you if you have people around you in Jesus' name. And whatever has happened to you is because you've been alone. But if you're together, the devil is afraid of that. And the devil is afraid of lineages. He won't get anyone in Jesus' name. The Bible says that he was afraid of the people around Jesus. He fears. 
He knows that if you touch one of them, you must be answerable to all of them. I will pay seven times. I will pay. But if I tax you and you're alone, he, the devil knows that you're alone. If he attacks you, you'll be alone, cry alone, and face everything alone. He say that if you attack that one, you have finished her off. And then he will start whispering to you. He will whisper. He will give you dreams. You realize that you no longer see the brother, you no longer see the sister. But if we arise, we will defeat whatever situation comes in Jesus' name. We will defeat. Tell your neighbor, no situation will overcome us in Jesus' name. Name. The reason the scripture I was reading, it was a hard situation. It was hard. Go to Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2, verses 11. It says, uh, before we read, there is a man called Nebuchadnezzar. He was a mighty king. And something happened. He got a dream. And the dream, he needed an interpreter. And this time, he said, I won't tell you the dream. I won't tell you that dream. He put conditions. He said, first of all, I want you to tell me that dream I had and then tell me its interpretation. The wise man told him, tell us that dream first. He said, I've decided not to tell you that dream. I want you to tell me that dream and its interpretation. Now tell your chant to your neighbor. Tell him, now tell me my dream. <laughs> Tell me my dream. Yes. I want you to tell me my dream. Tell me what I dreamt. That's what the king said. And he was so bitter, tough. He said, tell me what I dreamt. And then tell me its meaning. He, he said that if you don't tell me, I'm killing all the wise men. I'm killing you all. Now everyone tells at least kill me. They said you just decided to kill us, so please sir, go ahead and kill us. He said you will tell me what I dreamt. Turn to your neighbor again. Say, I'm serious. I want to tell me what I dreamt. <laughs> and its meaning. They say these words. What the king asked is too difficult. No one can reveal it to the king except what? Gods. Uh -huh. Because gods And they do not live among men. They say this is hard. What is it that you see that is so hard? It is impossible. 
You see, it can't be done. These men sat down and said, Oh, king, this is hard. This is impossible. It has never been heard of. The king just wants to eliminate us. Listen to verse 16. I want you to go back and read the entire scripture. At this, at this, Daniel went to the king and asked for a time so he might interpret the dream for him. Daniel ina yingira ne yega irida kabaka okumuti ekera wo olunaku na yenga irida kabaka amakulu. Then Daniel returned to his house. I want us together. to listen good. This. Then Daniel returned to his what house and explained the matter to what. To his what? Enzibu, embele enzibu. Some Na, hard situations. He said, let me go to my fellowship. Sadrach, Misach, Nabnego, Mujay. Na agenda mnyumba ye, and he called Sadrach, Misach, and Abednego. Na bagamba Mujay. He said, come. What do you Something hard has come up. Shiganye. It is failing. It has failed everyone. But one thing I know is that when we come together, God is in our midst and he will reveal it to us in Jesus' name. He explained. Verse 18. Listen to what he said. He argued them to plead for mercy from the Lord, the God of heaven concerning this mystery so that he and his friend might not be executed with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. When the others were afraid, Daniel said, I have a fellowship. I will take this issue to them. I will tell it to them. We will gather and pray together. Chapter verse 20 says, Let us read together. During, uh -huh, during 19, during the night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in our what? A vision. And Daniel praised the God of what? Heaven. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor that God is going to take away whatever looked to be hard in Jesus' name. Church. These scriptures show us the power there are things that are so hard you might look at yourself and you say that I will never leave this place but you will live in Jesus name there are certain big dreams you have they are so big for you but God will help you achieve them in Jesus name the problem is you're alone. You are alone. You're facing it all alone. You feel heavy laden. You feel you're dying by dying alone. When it was so heavy for Daniel, he went. He called forth his friends. But who do you call when things are so heavy for you? Who do you call? Matthew. Matthew. 18, 19. Listen. Matthew 18, 19. What does it say? Matthew 18. Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree upon anything 
you ask for it, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. Natayo kumina muna na kumina muenda. Egamanti. Natemba gambanti. Obaba na mwebabidi. Bwebate. Bwebe tabanga kunsi. Bulichigamba chona chebari siba. Chiri kole wachitanga alimu gulu. And verse 20. Abidi. Where two of come together in my name. There I am with them. Ntikubanga we baba babili o baba satunga bakunga nye mulinyari ange na ange ndia o wakati wawe. Praise the Lord. In fellowship, when we come together, we've come together in His name. He is there. Tell your neighbor, He is here. He is here. We're here in His name. He's here though I'm not shaking. Though you're not falling down, he's here. Someone told me, Pastor, maybe I'm not healed because I've not fallen down. And another one told me, but Pastor, it's been such a short prayer. The other one told me, Pastor, you made such a short prayer, but it worked. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know it's easy to say, but I've not seen him. But may God open your spiritual eyes that you may see that he is here in Jesus' name. The scriptures say that he is here. We've gathered here in his name and he's here to work on your issue in Jesus' name. There are certain things we're going to do now. And God is going to do it in Jesus name. Tell your neighbor what issue do you have? What issue do you have? Is it paralysis? Is it concerning your finances? Things hard? He is here and he will do it in Jesus' name. We're going to do one thing. In church, we have fellowship. Now, we're going to go into our fellowships. I'm not going to pray for you. We're going to pray for each other in our fellowships. You'll see amazing testimonies in Jesus' name. We are going to test this word. Whoever listens to my words and put them into action, Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is going to be a certain confusion right now. Because we're going to be moving around, going to our different fellowships. David Lineage, where are you? Let me see the lead of David Lineage. David Lineage. David Lineage.